Hello, it's Kelly Marie here, and welcome to another Long Clippings video by Mon Fawn. Today we're going to be making these super cute paper flower hairpins. They are absolutely adorable and they are perfect for Easter baskets and for spring and also to use on cards and layouts too. So we're going to be using the bright side papers today, the silver lining and the smell the roses. I used the 12 by 12 papers today, but I could have definitely used the 6 by 6 papers too. I just love these bright side patterns for making these adorable flowers because they're so happy and springy and they look awesome in someone's hair because of the fun bright colors. So right here is a Sizzix 3D flower die. I love using this die, but you can also make these with just a pair of scissors and we're going to do that later on in the video. So right there I went through and and die cut my two sizes of flowers and I'm going to go ahead and start making my flowers. Now when you roll these flowers what I like to always remind myself is that the pattern that I want to show is the pattern I roll in on itself. So I like to put that pattern face up and then I start rolling it. Right there I'm using a paintbrush to roll the paper around. I could use a pencil or a skewer, anything cylindrical. It's kind of a nice little guide when you start rolling these flowers. And what I like to do is I like to kind of coax the paper so that all of the little scallops line up and form a tight little bud. And this looks so cute. And it takes a little bit of time to do but it's totally worth it because these flowers are so awesome. So right there, once you get to the end, there's this little tab there, and that's where my glue is going to go eventually. Uh, but right here, I'm going to let go of this little bud and let it bloom. And it's just so cute. I love watching it bloom like that. So right there, what I love about these flowers is I could leave it a tight little bud like this, or I can keep coaxing the paper out and form a flatter rose. So you can really go through and kind of make them your own, depending on your project and what you're creating. So I kind of messed with it until it looked perfect and now I'm adding some hot glue to that little tab and I'm using hot glue. I just think it's a little bit easier for these flowers but I could have definitely used a glue dot too but the hot glue kind of works pretty well especially for one of the next steps we're going to do. So right there I've got my little flower and what I like to do next is roll all of the little petals out like that. I think it gives the flower some attitude, you know, it kind of gives it a little personality so I like to roll them and make them all different and you can see the final results there. So now I have one of those cute little pearls I want to put in the center. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill the center of this flower up with hot glue. And I like to do that for two reasons. One is so that my pearl can be higher up in the flower. And then the second reason is, is all that hot glue actually really helps keep this flower together. So since I'm going to give these as a gift and put them in my hair also, I want to make sure they stay together. And so that hot glue really helps. So I, I just fill it all up to the top there. And then I drop that pearl in. And I like to use scissors or tweezers to put the pearl in because uh, when I don't do that, I always burn my fingers. So definitely scissors are a good thing there. So I went ahead and made the larger flower in exactly the same way and now I have these cute flowers that are ready to go on my bobby pin. I'm just using a normal everyday bobby pin from the drugstore and I'm going to put some hot glue along the top of it. And you don't need a lot of hot glue for this at all. Right here I had kind of a blob come out unfortunately out of the, out of the hot glue gun there at the beginning. But I kind of just put a little bit of a light layer on there and then I'm going to lay my flower on top. And you're going to see when I lay the flower, I kind of let it go and it started to fall. So you really, I really have to always remind myself to hold it in place and make sure I let that glue dry so it stays on the top and doesn't glue to the side of the bobby pin. And then I went ahead and added a little more glue for my second flower and I'm going to hold that in place and let the glue dry. And I'm going to have my cute little bobby pin thing there. So what I like to do is I like to let all of the glue dry and that's when I remove all of those little spider webby kind of hot glue things that always are left behind. So I let it dry and then I kind of pull them all out from the center. And then right there you can see I made some out of the chevron paper that look really cute. So this is how you make these flowers on your own. And the way I like to do it is I like to draw a little guide with my pencil. Um, I could have just freehand cut it but the guide helps me remember to, to keep a tight spiral when I freehand cut it. For some reason I always make it too wide. So this kind of is a nice reminder. So I went through and now I'm just going to go through and cut along that spiral. And I'm not worried about these little scallopy spirals being perfect at all because I'm going to be able to fix and change them later. So I just kind of went through and cut it and whatever happens, happens. And I'm going to have this cute little spiral there. I'm going to go ahead and roll this just how I did before. This time I'm going to roll it with the tulip part of the paper showing and so that way I'm going to have kind of a different flower. So I went ahead and rolled it and then I'm going to add the glue to the little tab at the bottom and hold the whole flower together. And then I'm going to start rolling my petals out. 
which looks really cute. But there's also kind of another fun way to roll the petals out, and I learned this from someone who took one of my classes. What you have to do is take an acrylic block or a book, anything flat, and just put it on top of your flower and press down. And this gives a really cool look to your flower. It's kind of a little bit of a different look, and I really like it. So I press down pretty hard, and then I kind of pop the little petals up, after it so it's not completely flat and it's kind of a cool look so you'll see that my flower is kind of wonky there it's it's kind of messed up because you know I freehand cut it and I really didn't know what was gonna happen but what's great is all I have to do is take my scissors and just cut off all of those weird pieces until the flower looks how I want it to look and I could have even kept cutting more then I filled the hot the center with hot glue and added my cute little sparkly pearl there I thought it would be fun to make this pin a little bit different and add some leaves. And when I make leaves, what I like to do is take a little piece of green paper, fold it in half, and then cut a half moon shape. I like to do this because then both sides of the leaf end up with the same shape. And so I think that looks, it just looks cute that way. So and it's really easy to do. So I went ahead and made two leaves and then just added some hot glue to the back of that rose to add those leaves on it. Super easy and, and fun to do. And I could have used glue dots there again, but I had that hot glue gun out. So I kind of was having fun with it. So I'm going to add some hot glue, too much hot glue there, <laughs> to my bobby pin again. And when I put the flower down with the leaf, I like to make sure that the leaf is also glued down. That just gives it some stability so that it'll really stay together and not fall apart. So kind of, I like to glue the part of that leaf and then the flower down. And then right there you can see my fun little freehand cut flower and then the gray chevron and the pink one. I think they're absolutely adorable and I can't wait to give them as gifts. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys have an amazing day. Bye.